Okay, I guess I shall attempt a tag. Um, okay, question one. Do you think that parents should be held legally responsible for the criminal acts of their minor children? This question comes from a case that we are having currently over here. Mr. and Mrs. Crumbly are being tried for the school shooting, which resulted in several deaths of students, classmates. Um, now let me think. For me, I believe that it has to be tried and evaluated on an individual basis to be found if the parents are liable. Um, if they were negligent, if they had prior knowledge, if they contributed in some way, um, then yes, I think they should be tried. That is how I feel. I think and I hope that doing this, trying parents for the criminal actions of their children, minors, perhaps it will have a positive effect, a ripple effect and that parents will not become too permissive when it comes to the behavior of their children. Perhaps it will have the effect of them being... I, I'm sorry, I'm looking down at rocks <laughs> to see if I see any arrowheads, I'm constantly searching and never finding. But anyway, that's question one, and I think you pretty much get the gist. I don't have to elaborate further. And my answer was yes, I think it's a good idea. I think they need to be, uh, it needs to be found, as, especially since the children are minors. Um, yeah, they should know what's going on in their child's life. Okay, let me think. Question two. <laughs> Do you feel comfortable going commando? Now, I think maybe I should... Do I need to explain what that means, that expression? That means going out without wearing underwear beneath your pants. Um, do you feel comfortable not wearing underwear beneath your clothing. I'm not talking about walking around naked. I'm talking about when you're dressed and going about your day, does your idea of being dressed include underwear? Or are you comfortable going without? Now, I have to answer because Jasmine will throw a fit if I don't. Um, personally, I don't feel comfortable going commando. I have to have undies on, especially if I'm going out in public. Um, I was just raised to have underwear on underneath my pants. So, I do not feel comfortable if I don't have those on. Especially in public. But even if I'm at home, it just doesn't feel right. Okay, question three. Is there any language that you have foreign language to you? that you would like to learn, and if so, what? Which language? And here's a, here's a question for that is sort of close to that, and it has to deal with, you know, my life. Uh, is there any musical instrument? And you can feel free to say no uh, to either of these questions. Any musical instrument that you have ever been curious about or have wanted to play, and if so, which instrument? Hi guys, well, this will be my question five. And I hope it does not offend anybody. 
um, cause that's not how it is meant. It is simply meant to ask a question about what your opinion is on any type of subject and to state mine without it being an attack or a criticism. Uh, yeah, so I was thinking about how I wanted to pose this because I have a specific topic in mind, but I kind of wanted to make it broad as well. Is there, okay, I was going to ask to make it a broad question. Is there any topic, especially one that is in the news today, uh, that people might be surprised to know your opinion on? Whether they would have anticipated you have a conservative opinion on this topic? Or a liberal opinion on the topic but in fact your opinion is the opposite of what most people might think you would have on the topic okay <laughs> is that too confusing I'll try to illustrate with my one example okay today they're talking a lot about people who transition uh, one sex to the other uh, to be more specific about my question, personally, I do not feel right about somebody, I have to catch my breath, that's one of the hills that's rather rocky and steep. I don't feel right that somebody who is born male should compete in sports with people who are born female or somebody who is born female but transitions to male I don't feel right that they should compete in sports with people who are born male do you understand what I'm talking about just personally I um, because no matter how you alter your exterior in the sex change process it never alters the DNA that you were born with if you are born male you will always have the XY chromosome if you were born female you will always have the XX chromosome in your DNA no matter what surgeries you have to alter the exterior of your body, to have it match up with the sex you want to be, it doesn't alter the DNA that you were born with. You were born male, you were born female, the DNA is not changed with the transition or through hormones or anything like that. So I do not think that it is right or fair in an athletic competition to have somebody who was, and I'm talking professional, like maybe the Olympics, something where there is, this is somebody's living, uh, their career. I'm not talking about recreation or doing it for fun, but if it's important, if it's somebody's occupation, as a professional athlete, I don't think it's right, personally, that a transition person should compete against people who were born. Because it's, it's, it's not an equal playing field. That's how I feel. How do you feel about that? And is there another topic, as I said, that might surprise people to know your opinion on? Because they would anticipate you might have a different opinion than the one you actually have. Okay, enough of that long-winded question and explanation. Those are my five questions. I will write them down under the description and put the clips together. Okie dokie, we continue onward and I swear it's getting colder as we've been walking. 
Okay, bye.